Hi there, this is Jen, and thanks so much for stopping by today. Today I am making a card for a card hop, and this is a monthly card hop that I participate in from the Facebook group, group Card Hoppin'. This month's theme is Case Yourself, and the technique is markers and watercolors. So Case Yourself is basically what we're doing is going back and taking a card that we've previously done and doing and using the opposite medium. So the one that I am doing, the a medium that I originally colored in was Tombow Markers. So the opposite of that for me would be the alcohol markers and so I am going to be coloring up the image with alcohol markers this time instead of um, water-based markers. And the stamp that I'm using is so super adorable. I absolutely love this little raccoon. It's called Rory Caffeinated and it's from the Rabbit Hole Designs. And I'm going to use the same stamp and stencil that I used for the card which was just on the lower part of the screen. And um, here's my little color chart for the um, Copics that I have and I decided to go ahead and do a rainbow card and just do the raccoon pretty much monochrome so it's going to be um, shades of black and gray and I'm going to go ahead and show a little bit of the coloring and some of the markers I used but I am definitely not um, qualified in any way whatsoever to really say much about alcohol marker coloring um, other than I just try and do my best. I am not really fussy about it um, and definitely not um, at any sort of level where I would teach somebody but um, I just wanted to show you a little bit of uh, how I color this image in um, and so basically I'm just kind of putting the dark areas or the shadows where I think those are um, and then just blending my colors out. Um, I had the colors popped up on the screen um, but this is going to be covered with a little bit of black and um, I think he turns out pretty cute actually so um, I did my best. It's not super clean but I really love this image and I don't think I could probably really ruin it at any rate just because it is so adorable. Um, but I wanted to tell you a little bit about the hop. If you are new to the hop or haven't uh, watched one of our videos, um, what we do is we have a different theme and technique for every month. It is a super fun hop and um, so I encourage you to go ahead and check out all of the other participants. We try and keep our video short um, and the hop short as well so that um, everybody has a chance to kind of uh, participate and give some love to um, the others and so if you would like more information about the hop or if you would like to join in the hop I will leave that information below um, and you could definitely check that out we would love to have you if you would uh, love to join us so um, I went ahead and I finished coloring up my little Roy image and then I'm taking a piece of graphics craft plastic and I'm going to just take a rainbow of my Copic child markers um, basic primary colors uh, the Roy G. Biv of the rainbow. I am not doing anything too uh, detailed. It is actually pretty sloppy. Um, and I wasn't quite sure what I was going to do with this. I, I was going to try, and I actually did try to do the alcohol lift ink, and it didn't really work for me. So I started out by taking some isopropyl alcohol and dipping a brush in it and just splattering. I absolutely love the way that this looks, um, and I think it can make any background. I think splattering, whether it's the blending solution or the alcohol ink, or the uh, isopropyl alcohol. Um, I just really love the effect that that gives having all that splatter. Um, but I did try the alcohol lift. It did not work for me. So what I chose to do instead was to take a paper towel and just spread the isopropyl alcohol all over it. And it basically works a little bit the same. Um, it's going to that paper towel and the isopropyl alcohol is going to lift the ink up from my graphics craft plastic and remove it and so you can see it's on the paper towel now and then you have this kind of um i guess abstract background you can't really tell this the shape of the stencil but i really love just the different background that it created um, and then i'm going to grab some dies from my stash the the slotted die is a Catherine Pooler die and then this two-piece die right here is actually from Pink Fresh Studios and it's called Stitch Scallop Circles and so I'm going to take both of those circles and adhere those to that slotted die and I'll set a block on that and let it dry and then the sentiment for this I am using this Hello Friend and this is a photo play um, stamp and die set and it's called Speech Bubbles and then I'm just gonna go ahead and adhere my pieces. And so I've 
cut down my panel a little smaller than four and a quarter by five and a half and mounted that on a white card base. And then I added some one eighth inch phone strips to the back of the die to pop it up off the card a little bit. And then I will add some liquid glue to the raccoon and uh, adhere that. And then I'm also going to um, put a little piece of foam behind the hello friend sentiment. And to finish the card off, I add a few embellish embellishments from my stash and that will finish the card off. Um, but don't forget to check the link below uh, for the next person in the hop, as well as the entire hop order will be listed below. Um, I hope you enjoy, this is always a blast and um, I hope you enjoy these hops and these videos that we create. So um, thanks so much for joining me today. If you like this video or found it informative, please go ahead and give a thumbs up. As always, I thank you so much for taking some time out of your day to spend with me, and I'll catch you next time.